haven't seen you in a while. You're changing, man. No, man. You're a completely different person. You're not like I met you in university or high school. <laughs> I don't know about you, but every time somebody approaches me with that line, before they are done, I'm like, oh my goodness, thank you. It's working. You've noticed. I've been working years and months and days and hours not to be the same. I've been working on my, my dream and my game plan and I want to improve and be better. So if you notice, kudos to me. So when somebody comes to you and they're like, oh, you've changed. Look here. Embrace it. Today is day 11 of the 465 Days Gratitude Challenge. And clearly, from the intro, you know I am grateful for change. I am grateful for... Oops, my voice broke. <laughs> I am grateful for the ability to adapt. The thing is, I was never dealt the hand I wanted. You understand? Growing up, I was never dealt the hand I wanted. Even now, sometimes, I'm just tossed some random cards from the pack. But it's not the cards that you're dealt. It's how you play the game. It's how you decide to look on those cards that you're handed and how you can use them for your betterment. So each time something negative happens in life, each time somebody, you thought you'd have gotten a job, but you don't get the job, that disappointment is for a good. That should be in another video, I think. So check it out. Um, that's for the betterment of you. If out of the blue, something just does not work out, be grateful. Just step back for a moment because it's okay, you know, it's okay to pause for a moment and really reflect and say, okay, what is it? What is this that just happened to me? How am I going to deal with this? Don't linger in that area for too long because you'll miss the opportunities that you gain from that door closing. Trust me, one door closes, several others open. Trust me, the sky opens up for you. But if you're so busy looking at that closed door, guess what? You miss out on greater opportunities. You miss out on things that will even make you able to achieve that thing behind that door that you wanted um, a lot faster. Like, let's say you're trying to get this particular thing. I get hyper when I get to, you know, when I really think about these things. Let's say you really want to achieve this particular goal, right? You want to go somewhere. You want to study. And everything seems to be working out. You're, you're doing what you need to do. You're signing up, your, signing up your paperwork and all that jazz. And then out of the blue, one thing that should have gone for you just doesn't doesn't at all for no reason you, you can't pinpoint anything it just it's not working out what do you do do you stay there and complain and curse and to anybody who's willing to listen you tell them boy this situation happened and that's why i can't prosper in life that's why i can't because you see i wanted to go away and i wanted to study and i wanted to do this with my life and they just never gave me the visa and you, you don't you don't know anything else that's what, you take, that's what you do for the rest of your life. You complain about this one card that you were dealt, but you don't reshuffle. You need to go back in that deck. You need to say, okay, I'm not satisfied. I am going, if, if I can't play this hand, I'm not satisfied. How can I be dealt another hand? How can we reshuffle this card? And then when you reshuffle and you get something, it might not perfect again, but you're like, how can I adapt to this? So that delay might set you up to such a point that, you're working in a job or, you know, attending a school in your own country and the country that you wanted to, to go to. Something happens and you don't even have to sort the paperwork out yourself. You don't even have to apply for that visa, the job or the school or whatever the situation is. Somebody there sees your potential, sees how hardworking you are, sees how dedicated you are because you have adapted to the change that happened in your life and said, you know what, you'd be a good um, person to send to represent this company. You'd be awesome to represent this school. We're so proud of you. We're going to sort out your visa. We're going to sort out your tickets. Here, go wherever it is that you want to do here study this because we want you to come back and impact our country we want you to come back and impact our company we want you to come back and impact our school come on guys look at it this way embrace change it's the only thing that is constant in our lives and it doesn't make sense to be rigid if we if we're rigid we'll break let's be flexible and that way we can stand at the test of times when the wind comes like the strong slender tree trust me we won't break down we'll just move with the wind and then when it stops we'll be standing firm embrace change like i am embracing it and be your best self until our next video do remember to stay motivated and stay grateful also 
remember to like, subscribe, and share. And if you're so moved, ensure that you really, really share it with somebody else who needs a word of motivation today. I'm trying to get to 1 million, starting with 500, and I'm getting there. So thank you so very much. Until the next video, take care. Bye-bye.